go over the program for calculating running totals. What should happen when you're in the program is it'll ask you how many rooms you would like painted. I'm going to put in two and I'm going to give the first height of 10, width of 10, length of 10, and it's going to ask me for the second room, height of 10, width of 10, length of 10, and I know for two rooms the total square should, footage should be 800. So this is correct. Alright, I'm going to show you how I've set this up. I've started by creating a bunch of variables. I have a double for the total number of rooms. The reason I'm using double instead of integer is because when I multiply later in the program, Alice won't let me combine doing calculations with integers and doubles. In most programs you can do that as long as you are multiplying by an integer but you're storing it in a double. Alice doesn't allow it because it can cause errors. So we're going to start with total rooms, which is going to be the number of rooms we're going to ask for the user. Then we're going to create double of current room, which will set to zero. A double for the room width, a double for the room height, a double for the room length a double for the room square footage because we'll calculate the square footage at the end of each room. Double price, that's all caps because this is a constant variable. It will not change while the program is running. I'm setting it to a quarter per square foot or 25 cents. Then I have my total square feet which will be each room square foot added together and then my total price which will be my total square foot multiplied by price. My while statement is the most important part of the program. It's going to keep running as long as the current room is less than the total rooms. This will work as long as I put in a number that's greater than zero. For example, if I put in one, the first time it will run because initially we start to zero. Here's where we change the counter. We're changing the current room to equal current room plus one. That way we can use that value for current room when we're asking our user for the values. We'll get the height from the user and tell them it's for room one whatever our current room is, we'll get the width, we'll get the length. Then we'll calculate our square footage, which is the room length times the room height, those combined, notice the parentheses, these are times by two, then the room width times the room height, also by two, and they're added together. That gives us the square footage for the all four walls in a room. Our total square footage, this is where we're doing the totaling, is going to equal itself, total square footage, plus the room square footage that we just calculated. At the end, we'll calculate the total price by taking that total square footage and multiplying it by price, and then we'll give that back to the user. So again, we tell it how many times the room is going to run, or the program is going to run. So we're going to do three. The room height, we'll say it's 10 feet. We'll say that it's a seven or an eight by 10 foot room. The height of the second room will also be 10 feet and we're going to make it a 12 by 12 foot room. The height of the third room is 10 feet and the room is a 10 by 14 foot room. Gives you your total square footage and your total price. Again with a looping program it will keep going through the loop until the condition is met.